Hey dudes, I'm, uh, I'm at the land today, uh, just checking things out. I've had a survey done and I knew. Okay, let me just show you. This is an abandoned road uh, up to that uh, little farm equipment there. And it goes all the way down. Uh, probably can't see. Um, so I thought that was, well, I knew that was the edge of the uh, property there, but I uh, it actually goes to here. So I guess I own that abandoned road on the edge of my property, which is kind of nice. Although this is an easement, I could probably keep uh, like a trailer or like uh, I can put, I don't know, like a, oh no, I can't. If it's an easement, I was going to think I was going to put like a tiny house or build a cabin, like a little tiny, just a, like an eight foot by eight foot man cave. Oh, like I did in my old uh, little city dwelling, but I don't know. But this is all virgin territory for me. I've never been on this little bit. I just want to check it out. I've never been so close to a farm. And they've got like a tiny feedlot. Like I'm talking, I don't know, probably 10, 12 cows. I just hope in the scorching summer. It's not going to affect, because this is north, and our house is going to be on that fence line up there on the hill. So I'm not sure. Okay, so if this is square, I must own this bit. Then, yeah. Huh. Ah, see, I thought I owned to the edge of this uh, machinery. Uh, but I'm meeting the guy tomorrow, because if I do all this, I'm going to ask them to, these little, this little farm to move it, because I don't want that on the edge of my land. Well, I just thought of uh, something else is, in the spring, my father-in-law and I went to the local uh, landfill, and we got... Um, a, tr uh, a pickup bed full of compost for uh, a raised bed that I built uh, and, and that cost three dollars uh, a completely full like heaped trailer on his pickup full of compost and they actually here where I live give you free um, wood chips uh, mulch so I'm going to take uh, them up on that and get a couple of trailer beds full of wood chips and uh, put that all around my garden because I don't want the uh, grasshoppers and all of the vegetable eating bugs to get my uh, vegetables this year. So. so you know how I know it's spring or very close to is where I live here in the Midwest all winter the grass is like this brown ugly freaking yellow just dry but now the green grass is poking up through that's awesome i've just noticed I know this as well <laughs> i think it's lamb's lamb's tail uh yeah feels like felt it's really really soft so that's growing wild here. I thought that was pretty cool. I think cool. it's lamb's tail. Yeah. It's just really fluffy. All right, there's the uh, other marker. <sighs> so now I go off at a funny angle. I just thought of a cool project, which I didn't even realize uh, I could have done, but these old fence posts, like really, I think they're oak. They've got to be oak because they've been in the ground. Uh, the guy who owned this uh, plot of land before uh, had cows. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine of these. So I could like have a raised bed 
uh, put two on each. So two, four, six, eight. Have like a, I don't know, what's that? That's probably like six foot. So six foot by six foot raised bed.